fast jump shots. Some people ain't into fast jump shots. Uh, I'm not into the, I'm not into the fastest of jump shots. But I was playing with TDM the other day, and I'm when I'm telling y'all, I was chicken on this joint, bro. Uh, I was chicken. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. This jump shot might be the fastest creation I've ever created. Very consistent. You can even shoot it with the shot stick, man. It's not It's not one of them where... The only thing I hate about it is... Is some like when you shoot it with the shot stick, he gonna put it away and all that right there. But that that anyway, man. I'm about to get y'all the, the sauce to this right here, the fastest jump shot out there, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below, cause y'all know what we're trying to go with this thing to the moon, Alice. Hey, and if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. Look, man, this jump shot, super fast. Like when you shooting this one. You really gonna have to be locked in and ready, bro. Like, like armed, 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 and ready. Like, you gotta be armed and ready when you shoot this one, man, because it is very fast, especially from your lethal zones and your hot zones. Like, it's barely, you're barely touching the button, bro. You're barely touching the button. As soon as you see, as soon as you hit the button and you see motion, hey, you might as well let it go. And, uh, dudes is not really gonna be able to contest you either. Like, it just is what it is. Like, you see how fast it is. So, that, 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 that's, that really, there will, there will be no contest today. You know what I'm saying? That will, the only thing is when you're shooting it with the shot stick, man, he might not. It's like sometimes, bro, they don't shoot, he don't, he don't let it go fast enough. So, but if when you're shooting it with the button, you're going to be just fine. So, anyway. Uh, make sure y'all hit the like button because I'm about to show y'all this joint right now, man. Then we're going to talk about some stuff about shooting and all that. But, like, this is literally the fastest jump shot in the game. I was playing with my boy T the other night, man. And I'm telling you, bro, this is it right here. And they said you can get this on guys that are 16 and up, too, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It says 16 and under. Uh... I, I think that's what it is, and that's that's just what it is. So if it didn't have a restriction on it, it wouldn't have a restriction on it. But uh, this is the jump shot. So it's PJ Tucker, and then you got uh, Sadiq Bay is is released one, Scotty Pippen released two, and then it is an 83-17 blend. And right here, um, you are you are. Dang, I counted wrong. Hold on. Let's revert. I counted wrong, man. I'm trying to see how many ticks you up on this joint because because you can put it toward the um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If you want some more time to look at it, you can put it more toward push and that'll give you some more time to look at it and see what you got um as far as the shot goes uh because i promise you when he shoots it it's it's hard to identify so like right there if you go a little bit to more more toward push it'll give you a little bit more time to identify the release or whatever but i'm telling you this thing is wet like water if you if you are into fast jump shots some people ain't into fast jump shots uh, I'm not into the, I'm not into the fastest of jump shots, but I was playing with TDM the other day, and I'm when I'm telling y'all, I was chicken on this joint, bro. Uh, I was chicken, not gonna lie. Like, and it's for whatever reason, it looks so funny, man, when you shoot it. But if it's PJ Tucker, you know it's gonna be cor corner, corner three certified, man. Like it is, I mean, just automatic. As soon as you, I mean, as pretty much as soon as you see him get it, get it to his forehead or, or up a little bit, that's what that's when you're gonna let it go. And I'm talking about, I was standing corner the other day for T. He dotting people, bro. They were unable to, they couldn't even react. Like by the time they would get it, the ball's already gone. 
And I'm like, yep, I already shot it. And like I said, you can't shoot it with the shot stick. Um, but when you, like in here, it's hard to practice the shot stick in here, bro. Because in here, when you're shooting with the shot stick, it's like, like sometimes he'll put it away like that. And you might not want him to put it away like that. I just like to practice shooting just, just off of the uh, catch in here, man. But I mean, shooting in this game, though inconsistent, I, I found that a lot of the shots or a lot of the shooting in this game, even though it's a little inconsistent, uh, a lot of it is, man, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of it is just you looking at your catch and finding something with some good time and stability, looking at your catch, and then just, just knowing which one he's gonna get. Cause with PJ Tucker, you really got to, if you catch it like that, it's gonna be super fast. If you catch it like that, it's just gonna be semi fast. Cause I was early on that. You see, I was early on that one, right? So. So that's gonna be the fast one. And then that's gonna be like, you can't be on this button very long with this shot, man. When when you get it, it's like, like that'll be a little bit slower. That's the super fast. Like you just gotta, you just have to come in here. The only thing that this, that this is, I'm, I'm off on that one. The only thing that this, this joint is good for is just for you learning the speed of your catches and where the tail is on certain catches. Cause that's it. Other than that, man, I really don't see a real, and then up top, you definitely gotta hold everything a little bit longer up top, man. Uh, but not very much longer, just a little bit. I don't know if I can hit from Limitless with it, but I don't have Limitless on this build. So I, I don't see why I would be able to hit from Limitless. But, uh, well, I do got Limitless. I got 85 three balls, so. All right, so yeah, if I hold it a little bit longer, I'm supposed to be able to hit maybe, but. I ain't never tried to hit from Limitless on this guy. The only only thing I try to do, I'm a catch and shoot guy and I shoot, I'm a corner boy. So this is gonna help you get your shots off extremely fast. And once you learn to tell and all of that, man, I mean, the whole reason that I'm shooting this one is because my guy Paul came in there. And when I'm telling you Paul was chicken with this jump shot, bro, Paul was complete and utter chicken with this jumper, bro. And I was like, yo, Paul, what you what you got on? And he's like, he got a, uh, he had like an 89 three ball or whatever. But the main thing is that he, um, he had an 89 three ball, but he was just so consistent with it. And people were trying to close out. They couldn't close out. And when I'm, I'm telling you, now one thing I will, I will tell you, if you're playing with this shot and you're, and you're having trouble finding it you go, look, this is a tip that I'm gonna tell y'all. I'll drop a video on this tomorrow, man. But you, for every game mode, you should be doing this. Not every game mode, but when you go and play real, in real game modes, you should be taking the, your visual cue. Excuse me. You should be taking the visual cue and ticking it right or left. You keep seeing, if you want to release the ball in a certain spot, and you keep seeing it say slightly early, slightly late. If it keeps saying slightly early, you move it towards your set point or you move it toward the left, regardless of where you got it. If it keeps saying slightly late, you want to move it this way toward release. A couple of ticks and keep ticking it until you find the release that you're comfortable with. Because for me, at first I thought, the, I thought that uh, like in here, It'll look like the release is at the forehead, right? It'll look like that. But when you go into competition, it may look like the release is at, it may look like the release is at your chest. So if it's at my chest, that means I'm letting it go too early. So I need to push it more toward push. If, uh, it, but if it were at, if it were, you know, if I keep getting slightly early, cause it's when I'm getting ready to push the ball off, then for that, you're gonna bring it back this way toward toward set point or whatever but it is what it is man y'all hit that like button subscribe if you're new let me know what y'all think down in the comment section and i will holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ man we got so much basketball guys news coming up tomorrow it's gonna be absolutely insane holler at your boy man peace guys, please. Guys, please.